know you cannot be the best without rest, okay? That is actually a really good slogan. I love that. What's up, guys, and welcome back to The Nurse Nook. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alexis Nicole, and I make videos all about nursing, lifestyle, and wellness. This is my first video of 2024, and I thought it would be super appropriate to give y'all my ins and outs of the year. So what are ins and outs? It's essentially like a modern, trendy version of a New Year's resolution. I don't really like to use the word New Year's resolution so much. I like to think of it more as a goal and a guideline for the year. And I saw this trends of ins and outs, and I'm like, you know what? That is like a perfect way to describe it. Like what's in for the year and what's out. So I'm gonna share with you guys my ins and outs for the year. I posted this on my Instagram story a couple days, weeks ago. I don't even know how long it's been now, but I felt like this was a great place to go a little bit deeper instead of just having like bullet points and give you my whys and what I hope this decision to change in my life. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. It is an online learning community made up of thousands of online courses made by creators that have made lucrative side hustles that have now made videos to share with you all on how to take that next step in your creative process. So this is a great resource if you are now at a point in your life where you're like, it's a new year, I'm looking to start a side hustle, I wanna do something different with my life, I wanna get creative, I wanna tap into things that I have been thinking about, but I need more information. Skillshare is a great resources. They have tons and tons of videos to help assist you on this creative journey. They have videos on digital marketing, on animation, on entrepreneurship, you name it, they have it. I personally really like the social media expression classes because I am a creator. A lot of what I do is surrounded around social media. If you're not sure where to start Skillshare design learning paths that help you get from novice to pro in virtually no time, their handpicked classes meant to be taken in order that build off of one another, really reinforcing the lessons. Learning paths are available in a variety of different categories, including design, productivity, creative freelancing, marketing, and much, much more. The first 500 people to use my link in the bio will get a month free of Skillshare membership. Again, if you're looking to start a side hustle, if this is the year for you, if you wanna get inspired, parouse the different options, it is a great resource and you get a month free, so why not check it out? Okay, so let's get into my ins and outs of the year. I really had so much fun making this list. I got so inspired and I'm like, you know what? Like I kept adding different things and I'm like, okay, let me not get carried away because I don't want to make it too unrealistic baby steps. That's another tip. If you have too many changes at once, you are a lot less likely to follow through. So, you know, like little baby step changes is more realistic to actually make a big improvement long-term in your life. So my first end of 2024 is low maintenance beauty care. If you guys have been subscribers for quite some time, you may notice I look a little different. <laughs> I dyed my hair um, back to like, ah, there's my phone. Okay, I dyed my hair back to a darker natural color. The My natural hair color is like almost, I wouldn't say almost black, but it's like really, really dark brown. This is like a little darker than my natural. But I dyed it because I was so tired of keeping up with high maintenance blonde, having to get my hair retouched all the time. When my roots grew in, I had to go to the salon. I spent hours at the salon. And not only hours at the salon, I spent thousands of dollars. On top of that, I used to get my lashes done. I would spend hundreds of dollars getting my lashes done, literally hours getting new sets. And I just got to a point where I dread my maintenance sometimes. Getting my nails done sometimes feels like a chore. Getting my hair done definitely feels like a chore. Getting my lashes done felt like a chore. And I just was tired of feeling like I needed to keep up with these beauty standards. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go back to my natural-ish state. I Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy pampering myself, but I just got tired of the upkeep. So this year I really wanna focus on things that are low maintenance. I do obviously still wanna take care of myself, but I am not trying to keep up with these unrealistic beauty standards anymore. I want to be simple. I wanna look good, but I don't wanna to have to put in hours and hundreds and thousands of dollars to maintain that. Another in for my year is Reformer Pilates. I have been saying this, if y'all are on my Instagram, you guys know I have been talking about Pilates all year long. I started this year for the first time. And when I talk about Pilates, I'm specifically referring to Reformer Pilates. That's the only kind of Pilates I have done. But it has changed my body so much. I have been weightlifting for quite some time, but nothing has changed my body like Pilates. My core has gotten so much stronger. I have 
much more of an hourglass figure now which is something that i didn't have so much of before it really slimmed out my core let me not say slim because i feel like that's more of the nutrition aspect but it really tightened up my core and made everything like i really love pilates i ride for pilates that is definitely in for the year for me one of my biggest ends for the year is a relationship with God. Now, I've always had a relationship with God, but the past couple months, my fiance and I have started going to church and it has been such a nice addition to our routine. It's a little unfortunate because with nurses schedules, unfortunately, we have to work on the weekends occasionally and I can't make it every Sunday because of that scheduling. But when I am off and I do go, it is such a nice refresher just to be around a just to be part of like a modern church with people that i can relate to it has really been so nice and just having building that relationship deeper with god has been really nice as well another in for the year is quality of friends over quantity especially for this year i am going to be starting my clinicals i'm currently in grad school um completing my neonatal nurse practitioner degree and this year I start clinicals and so I will be super super busy this year and so I really want to dedicate my time to pouring into those quality friendships that I have and not worrying about having tons of friends but worrying about having deep deep connections with the friends that I do cherish. It's never about the quantity and it's always about the quality mocktails with health benefits are in this year y'all if you have been following my journey like i said i did 100 days sober last year alcohol free and it was life-changing if you guys want to hear like the full story i will link it down below but it has been the one of the best things i've done i feel like our culture growing up you know you turn 21 you go to the bar you get wasted it's like a lot of um, like college culture a lot of things in our culture are surrounded around drinking and i just decided to take a step back and really look at my relationship with alcohol the whys about why i drink how it makes me feel and i realized i honestly didn't really like it that much and i did it for the social aspect and don't get me wrong i still will indulge myself on the special occasion but i just am no longer i no longer want to be the type of person that comes home after a long day and like has a bottle of wine I feel like I've outgrown that and I just see what it does to my body, my mental health, the anxiety tied to it. And I was just over that. And so moving forward, I want to incorporate more mocktails and especially mocktails with health benefits because I feel like it's not doing much of a service if I just don't drink alcohol and instead drink like really sugary soda. Like it's just changing one bad thing for another bad thing. So if I'm going to substitute it with something that's not water, I want it to be something that's healthy for me. Another end for the year, meal prep. This is something that just makes my life so much simpler. Right after church, we've been going to the grocery store, planning our meals for the week, and it has deleted so much stress because I never have to worry about running to the store to get dinner for the night because I already took care of that for the week. And the secret to life is routine and simplicity, y'all. What's also in for the year is early rising and bedtime routines. You guys, I found the secret sauce to my well-being and happiness and that is waking up early and going to sleep early i used to be like a habitual like 11 a.m wake her upper i would always feel bad like i missed the whole morning the day's already started people are already like working out and doing their thing and i'm just like just waking up and that is a bad habit i had and this year i started waking up at 9 a.m which is honestly not the best still but i shaved two hours off and i feel so much better i feel so much more productive and not only productive but i just feel like more energized and more excited to be up i can still catch some of the morning sun and it honestly just has made me feel so much better ideally i would love to shave even two more hours on top of that but you know baby steps and also going to sleep earlier helps that because i can get a full night's rest and sleep affects everything in my life my mood my happiness absolutely everything purchasing quality staple pieces isn't in no again like i said earlier quality over quantity i used to have a bad habit of purchasing many things um, that were cheap prices versus just buying like one well-priced quality item i think that stems from like being a broke college student and just not wanting to wear the same thing all the time so i buy a lot of cheap stuff and that habit has been hard to break but honestly i find it so much better for my wardrobe to have like sable pieces that i can mix with other like maybe not as expensive pieces and it's 
more of a statement because it's like wow that's a really nice piece i don't even realize like the target shirt you're wearing underneath that because that jacket's so cute so that's something i'm focusing on for the year vitamins are in again health is in for the year i have not been the best with taking my vitamins and supplements so this year that's something i want to focus on decluttering and donating every month this year i read this book called or sorry last year I read this book called The More of Less. It's all about minimalism and living with less and how it creates more. And I have been practicing moderate minimalism for a little while now, but as I grow, I learn more about it and I realize how important it is. And I feel so much better and so much lighter when I have minimal possessions. So don't get me wrong, I still have a house full of stuff, but everything in here is stuff that means something to me or something I really wanna keep we get rid of things that are clutter or things that don't bring us value or happiness pretty often um, especially with clothing i go through my clothing often um and that's just something that i want to be a little bit more on top of because whenever i get rid of stuff and the space is clear and we have a lot of open space i always feel better snail mail is in for the year when i say snail mail i mean like sending my friends letters cards birthday cards i have some friends that have done that for me this year it's actually there's one in the back here my friend sent me like an engagement card so cute it honestly put a smile on my face and made me feel so good to receive these letters i'm like you know what i want to do that for other people it takes a little bit of effort and i just really think that is something that is so sweet and i want to do more of that Eating for my unique gut health is also is tying into nutrition. My gut health used to be absolutely terrible basura garbage. It has gotten so much better this year. I have eliminated a lot of things from my diet that I didn't realize were stressing out my gut health, like eggs for one, which is difficult because I am such an egg lover. But now that I have eliminated eggs for the most part and substituted it with tofu i've noticed a significant decrease in my bloating overall well-being and my gut health has just really skyrocketed being on time oh my gosh i had a bad habit of kind of like pushing things to the last minute like leaving the last second that i know i can get there on time and would not always be on time and i just started getting really tired of that habit because then i'm stressed on my way there especially whether it's to get to work, to get to reservations, whatever it is, I don't wanna to have to be stressed and trying to race traffic to get there. I wanna give myself time, no matter what the event is, to get there safely, not have to stress about rushing and just allotting myself extra time, knowing that it's okay to get there early. So that is something that I just wanna practice more of this year because I feel like when you're late to things, especially like people's events, I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful because you're disrespecting people's time and I don't wanna do that. And so being on time is something that is important for me this year. Again, going off of gut health, veggies are in this year. I don't know that I can be totally vegan to be honest with you on it this time in my life, but I definitely wanna be veggie forward. So that means incorporating a lot more vegetables in my dishes, allowing myself some vegan recipes here and there. That would be ideal for me. Planned date nights and days are in. My fiance and I have made a commitment to each other that each month I will plan one date night or day and he will plan one date night or day. So basically it's like every other week that we'll have like a thought out planned date and we're doing it once a month for each of us at this time because like I said, this year's super, super busy for me and I just don't think I can commit to having a date, like a planned outing something every single week so it just takes a little bit of the stress off of having to do something every single week but also having something to look forward to it's just more realistic for our schedule at the moment spf is in y'all skincare is in for the year we are looking young we're looking hot and spf is the way to go saving money is in for the year you guys know i'm planning a wedding so my mindset is all about saving money it is grind time this year is all about the grind also like peace and happiness but also a little bit of grind and my final end for the year is believing that i am enough this means no comparison this means not selling myself short this means believing that i am meant to be in every room that i am in not feeling less than believing that i am enough i think is the key that will trickle the confidence down into every other area of my life and just make me feel whole and just like a better human being. Moving on to my outs for the year. This is gonna be a little quicker because I feel like everything is mainly self-explanatory. Outs for the year, 24 seven productivity. Oh my gosh, 
I used to be so bad with this. If I wasn't productive 24 seven, I would feel so much shame if I just wanted to like sit on the couch and like just do nothing for a little bit. I would feel a lot of shame that I wasn't constantly productive. And so this year I wanna give myself some grace and you can, and just know you cannot be the best without rest, okay? That is actually a really good slogan. I love that. You cannot be the best without rest. Everybody needs rest. You need a break. You need some time to just be, to meditate, to do nothing. It is okay. Just don't get carried away with it. I think that's where the problem comes in when you want to take a break and then you end up mindlessly scrolling for hours. Like, I think that is for me when the shame come in, shame comes in, but it is okay to rest and to just be 24 seven productivity is not sustainable. And it's not realistic. Meet with every meal out. We can incorporate more vegan dishes in our diet. Binge drinking out. Imposter syndrome out. People pleasing out. This is something that I have <laughs> been put through boot camp. I feel like since planning a wedding, everyone has opinions and you want to please everybody and you can't. And you know what? It's your life. It's your day. This is for like wedding specifically. You can't please anyone. Okay. So just please yourself and move on. You can't pour from an empty cup. Okay. If you're not happy, no one's going to be happy. Poor sleep schedule out. Unintentional purchases out. Comparison out. That was a big one for me. Not making the bed every morning out. Staying up late out. Diet trends out. Procrastinating on important tasks out. Negative self-talk out. Overconsumption out and following accounts that don't bring me value out this is specifically for instagram because that's where i spend a lot of my social media time but yeah that's definitely out this year so those are my ins and outs for the year thank you so much skillshare for sponsoring this video don't forget to click the link down below to receive your free month of skillshare let me know your ins and outs in the comments down below for the year and thank you so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next video